Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And I am very pleased to be with you today. I nearly wasn't. Um, had to make another 90 mile trip uh, to reunite my computer and its adapter through my own foolish mistake. But I did not want to break the streak of two videos a day today because today was the day we passed a very significant milestone for the channel, 333,000 subscribers. Thank you so much if you're one of the people, one of the third of a million people, I can't believe I'm saying that, it's mad, who have pressed the subscriber button. If you haven't, go on, press it. Um, but thank you, and you are very welcome. Do consider also joining our Discord community. 12,000 people there, I think, um, have joined that. And also, I mean, all discussing puzzles and Sudokus in the most friendly of terms. So much to solve there if you're keen on that sort of thing. Um, really interesting group of people. Also, of course, there are Patreons. Almost 4,000 people there. I dare say significant overlap with the Discordites, and that's fine. But especially well done to those Patreons who in the last day have finished the um, Seven Wonders of the World Sudoku Hunt. So here, uh, here indeed is a list of names. There we go, finally got them on. And um, those are the correct answers we've had in on day five. So very well done if your name appears there. We are getting a few more incorrect answers than at the start now. Um, I try normally to write back to the people who've sent those in just to let them know they're on the wrong track, but I may have missed one or two. If you haven't seen your name listed in the last five videos, then um, you haven't sent the right answer yet. Um, anyway, do give it a go. Some of those puzzles are, well, all of them are getting very good reviews. Um, I think Petra and Christ the Redeemer are definitely topping out as the acknowledged hardest ones, but uh, do give them all a try. Um, you can try any one of the seven if you want. Now, this 333,000 milestone, we've been sent a couple of puzzles which commemorate it, which is very kind of people who watch the channel. Um, and we thought we would present one of them, but maybe we'll get to both. There were differing views about this puzzle from Florian Vertman, which is basically a classic with three tiny thermos in. Um, the rule is that the number on the bulb has to be less than the other number on the thermo. That's simple enough. The givens spell out 333 in a way, yeah, as you can see if you highlight them by the, by the um, kind of boxes going down, that's what they look like. And it's virtually a classic. Now, um, one tester said that Mark would probably be able to do this in less than 10 minutes. Although I did also hear somebody say that neither me or Simon could. So Simon's suggestion was if you get through it in 10 minutes, do the other puzzle as well that we've been sent for the 333,000 milestone. So what I thought I'd do is take it as a challenge, try it as a speed run, go as fast as I can, see if we can solve this in less than 10 minutes. And if we do, I will present another puzzle. Uh, now you won't be able to tell from the video length whether that happened or whether I just got stuck on this one, I suppose. Um, although, of course, you will find a very simple way of checking whether we get to a second puzzle in this video if you want to now. But I don't know if I'm going to get there. I'm going to do my best and see how we go and uh, fly through this as fast as I can, starting now. Let's get cracking. So there's a three in one of those two cells. There's a four in one of those. Um, uh, sixes. There's a lot of sixes. I can place a six there. There's one over there. I can place another one here. And there's one over there. A little X-wing of sixes to think about. There's a three there in one of those two. There's an eight in one of those two. And therefore somewhere in the beginning of row eight. Uh, two, no, that's not so helpful. Ah, oh, one is confined to those cells, and therefore those, and also those little X-wing of ones as well. Ah, and therefore on this thermo, and therefore it must be in the bulb. 
Okay, so that little thermo has helped. It won't help again. Now there's a one in the bulb. That's a five or eight. That's a seven or eight. Um, one of those is a two. And one of those two offset cells is a seven. There's also a seven offset in box one. Um, four is confined to those two. And I'm running out of stuff now. Oh, look, actually, that's a 1 8 pair. That's nice, isn't it? I don't know. I've got 2 7 9 triple in the box apart from that. Um, 3 5 2 4 6 8 6 3 1. 1 has to be here. That's a write in from the word go that I hadn't spotted. I don't think this is that easy, I have to say. Um, I mean, I might be missing something, obviously. That's straightforward. Oh, I thought, oh that one eight pair is not a pair. They are givens because of that eight that I hadn't seen. So that's two. In fact, this whole central row is done suddenly. Uh, seven goes in box eight there. It's on the thermo seven. So the cell at the end of it is seven or nine. Four. This is a useful shape, but it's not actually doing anything for me. What I mean is that would normally be a useful shape. This is three or five because it can't be nine. That looks like it's two or nine. Ah, oh, now I'm slowing up dramatically. If I was in a competition, I would bifurcate from here and definitely be done within the 10 minutes. But that's not what we want to do on the channel. I think sevens have to go in. That's an X-wing on sevens. I'm going to mark that. Sevens must go in those positions in rows three and six. Therefore, in those columns, they cannot be in the end cells, which only matters for this one, annoyingly. So that's four or eight. That means seven is in one of those two. In fact, that is five or seven. If that's a seven, you get six, eight, that becomes a five. But if that's a seven, that becomes a five. So these three cells are never five. So five is confined to those two. So that's eight or nine. Three, eight or nine. Three, four or nine. Oh, bother. Um, and this one. Oh, hang on. That's, that's a quadruple. So this is five or seven. So is this. it can't be three that's right so that's a five seven pair so this is a two eight nine triple um, that can't be two obviously three, nine four seven one so we've got three five and six to put in here oh sorry um, to put in there oh eight Eight has to be in eight can't be in either of these cells. Stop running over your mouse lead, you fool. Right, so eight is there. In fact, I'll take the eight corner mark out of that and put it in there. Eight four. I've got a five seven pair there. What have we got in this middle box? Two, five, and nine to go in. Seven, one, two, 
Let's see. Still, this bottom isn't being as helpful as I'd hoped. Um, ah, oh, that's there's a Y wing. This can be five or eight. Whichever it is, is putting a nine in one of those two cells. And therefore, these don't contain nine. That's a two five pair. That looks helpful. Um, this is eight or nine. Surely that nine, it's taking nine out of that. Um, oh, come on. Seven, six, two, eight, one. That's four, five, or nine. Is this? No, there isn't a triple there. I thought that nine was. Oh, it's taking a nine out of there. Oh, that puts nine in that cell. Sorry, that's nine in the corner. No one puts nine in the corner except me today. Eight there, nine at the top. Those aren't nines. Um, three, eight, four, triple, can't do anything with it. Come on, keep going. Two, four, eight, seven. Still don't know if I'm going to get in the time. That's three or five. That's a three, four, five, triple in the row. Nine, of course, goes in there. This is three or five. Two, th that's two or five. Two, three, five, possible here. Oh, come on. Two, one, three, four. Nine is there. That is five or eight. There is some double or triple laughing at me now. This has to be three, five, or seven. On the thermo, or this thermo, two, nine, three, four, eight, five, six, or seven there. I can't believe I still haven't unwound that. X-wing on sevens. Oh, look, nine is looking at that. Right. That means, what does that mean? Surely, yeah, that that is going to unwind the sevens X-wing because it puts a seven in there. So sevens are there on the X-wing. That's a two. Don't dare look at the clock at the moment. We've got one and two to go in the box. They can now go there. Um, that's a seven. That fixes boxes four and five. If I'm typing the right numbers, which is always a bit of a gamble at this point, that seems to be a three, thanks to a pair that emerged there. Five and two and three. Five, six pairs still to resolve. That four, eight, oh, this is done. Four and three and eight and five and six and eight eight and five and down at the bottom six and five and just one pair left four and eight and i am if this is right on nine minutes and 18 seconds excellent so did just get done in 10 minutes and i'm pleased with that um just checking yeah if the check has worked the thermos are all fine so that is the right answer so that's a nice, nice workout from Florian there. That's really good. Um, but it does mean that we will go over to the other puzzle now. So here we go. This is Oli Mars 333,000 um, Sudoku, which works, in, of course, in a very different way. Normal Sudoku rules, we have some palindromes. The colored lines read the same way forwards as backwards. Um, we have oops, a thermo, which increases from the bulb to each end, whichever way up or down it you go, it increases. And we have some arrow clues. So these four cells add up to the number that we write as a two digit number in this pill reading left to right, as do these six cells. We have some sandwich clues, which effectively mean that one and nine are next to each other in each of those three rows. And we have two little killer clues. So these seven cells add up to 33, and they can include repeats. Um, this one adds up to three. There we go. So do have a go at this one. It's also on a link in the description field under the first one. It's by Oli Ma, and I'm gonna try now. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking with a one-two pair on the three diagonal, very straightforward. Now, these cells, 
all have to be the same because they're on both the green and the yellow palindrome. So I'm going to color them. Don't know what they are. Ah, now on this palindrome, the standard good lift technique is. Ah, is okay. The standard good lift technique is not the sensible way to go. <laughs> the sensible way to go is to ask the sensible Simon question of. Uh, where can one and nine go in column six? And they can never go on a, on a middle cell of a thermo. They would always be in a bulb or an end. So they must be up here. Therefore, this is smaller than all the other cells on this thermo. That's a two. That's a one. Um, these ascend three, four, five, uh, six, I should have put on those as a possibility. Four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the important thing about the ends in column six is that one of them must be an eight, and that must have a nine after it in one of these two cells on the thermo, and that can't be here in a box where there's a one nine pair already. So the nine's there, the eight's there. This is not eight, which restricts the rest of the top bit of the thermo. And that's about as much as we can do there. Ah, this pill. Oh, that's pretty. This pill, now the absolute minimum number you can put in it, because one and two are gone in the row, is 34. I'm going to put that in because the maximum number you can get these four cells to add up to is 34 by using 9-8 pairs. That's really nice. Now these must add up to 34. Now I've got a secret for you. Numbers 1 to 9, which occupy these 9 cells, add up to 45. So if you take off the 34 in those, these add up to 11. And I don't know what they're made up of. Um, right, these purple cells cannot be 9 or 8 or 1, 2, 3 or 4 because you've got them definitely looking at them. So it's part of five, six, seven. This one is six, seven, or it's not eight because eight is looking at it from one of those two. So that reduces. Now I've got a five, six, seven triple. That's nice. Um, right, yeah, actually, where does one go in row three? Not in box one or two because of those pairs. So in fact, it goes there. Where does two go in row three? Not in box one because of the pair of one, two. So now this is three or four, and so is this other cell on the green palindrome. Yeah. Two in one of those. One. Oh, don't forget these sandwich clues. Yes, yes, yes. Get a nine straight away next to the one there. Um, doesn't have to be. Oh, right. Look, look, there's a nine, eight pair. Look at that. In row nine and column nine, there's a nine, eight pair looking at all, all these cells. So they don't contain nine and eight. But these three that add up to 11 also don't contain a nine. Because 9, 2, 1 adds up to 12. So the 9 is there. They do contain an 8. So they do contain a 1 and a 2 as well. That 9 has sorted out the 8. 9 pair up there. That 8 says not 8 in that one. I could pencil mark 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 around there, but I'm not going to. Oh, three, four pair in the middle box, right. Five, six, seven on the top of the thermo. They can't be five and six. Three, four pair gives us a seven. We've got a seven we can put in there. Six, eight pair. Two, three, four, and five are the only possibilities there. Eight must be in one of those cells. Eight must be in one of those. 
which also means in one of those, weirdly, because of this palindrome cell. Oh, look, this is now being looked at by a 7 and 6, so purple is 5. That's good. Um, so we've got 6, 7, 8. No, that's 6 or 7. These are from 6, 7 and 8. Because that's always the same as that. Yes, that's right. Um, one of those is 6 or 7 because of that. That's not very interesting. 2 is confined there and there. Ah, where does 2 go in row 9? Not there because it would be on a palindrome in an impossible position. So 2 goes in the corner. That fixes the 1, 2 pair. That fixes the 1, 9 pair. 2 again is confined to columns 7 and 8 in those two boxes, so we can put a 2 in there as well. 9. Oh, 9 is a sandwich, has to be next to a 1, so that sorts out that green area. Actually, let's take out all the colours I put in because I've used them all. Uh, that's not a 2. 2 is here now. That's not an 8. And that means this is an 8. One of these is an 8. Now, keep remembering the sandwiches. 1 and 9 to go. That can't be either of them. So that must be a 1 or a 9 with another one next to it. Um, oh, I was going to put a 1 in there, but there could actually be a 1 there and there. Yeah, that would have been a false deduction. Don't want to make any of those. Um, oh, what now? This palindrome is really where that is 3, 4 or 6, because it can see all the other cells somehow. But this one could be 1, 3, 4 or 6, I think. So 5 is in one of those two. Um, I'm going to colour these three and fours because they're the same on the palindrome. So that one's different, and that one's different, and that one's purple. Only one of these can be three or four, so only one of these doesn't really do anything, I don't think. Five is in one of those cells. Two is in one of those. Hmm. Could that be one nine? Oh, just oh no, yes, if that was yeah, where is 7 in this box? It's in one of those two cells. I think that also means seven's in one of those two because of the palindrome effect again. So that pencil mark represents 7 definitely being in one of those two in this column, which doesn't get a lot done. Actually, it makes this one either a 6 or an 8. It can see a 3, 4 pair, 1, 2, 5, 9, and now definitely a 7. So that's either 6 or 8. It would have been nicer if that was on the old 33 diagonal. That's 6, 7 or 8. 9 is in one of those two. Doesn't mean that eight has to be in one of those, although it is in one of those three. Hmm, a three, four pair? That's six, seven, or nine, just by ordinary Sudoku. Okay, I've been putting it off. Let's have a look at this 33 diagonal. It's a fraction under the average for seven cells. Nine and seven are over, so 
what is the minimum? Oh, this has to be three, four, or five, I think. Yeah. This can't be one, two, or three. Okay, well, the minimum now, three, 12, 15, 22, 26. Oh, so these have a maximum of seven without using a five. Maximum of seven. Don't know how to use that. I don't know what to be thinking about next. That almost felt like it was helpful, but didn't really get anything done. One of these is purple. How about that? Ah, oh, if this was green... Then one of these would be green. So there'd be eight and either three or four. Then you'd have one and six on the palindrome. Five here. This would be one, six, five, nine, eight, four, three, seven. Ah. So if this was five. No, sorry, if this was green, if this was three or four, and therefore green, you'd have green here. Green. This would be one and six, so you'd have green here. Five, eight, three, four. I thought I saw something wrong with this, but maybe I didn't. Green is up there in one of those two, probably in the orange one. Obviously it's in one of those. Oh, maybe the question is, can it be on the palindrome? I don't know. Oh, I tell you what, six can't be on the palindrome. That's the question. Because if six was on the palindrome in one of these two cells, six has to be here in box nine. That's not a six. That has to be a six. And that is kill, killing box seven with two sixes. So six is not on the palindrome. Good grief. So there's a three, four pair. So that's green. Ah, that was the question to ask. So this is five. And with a one next to it, the one has to be next to a nine for the sandwich clue. That's a one now. Now we are buzzing. This is a two one pair. This still has to add up to, what was it? Less than seven or five, I can't remember. Three, 12, 19, 24, 28, five. It is five now. I'm not sure it was before. 9, 14, 21, 24, 28 minimum. This has to add up to less than 5. So that is now a 3 or 4. Do I know whether it's green or purple? Yeah, uh, no, that's green because it's in the same column as a purple. That's green. That's a 3 or a 4. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, how do I... That's green. Purple is here, just by Sudoku. Wow, okay, so that's a three or a four. So we know that the eight is here. 
still oh and that's become green yes we do know whether it's green or purple eventually but i still don't know which of these is green and which is purple because i don't know which is three and which is four that's lovely um it's very weird but it's very clever this is six or seven uh six seven three four so this is eight by elimination um this is a nine that's where it must go that fixes the 9-8 pair, which fixes the 6-8 pair, which stops this being a 6. This, 1, 2, 7, 8, 5. Oh, this has to be 3 or 4, doesn't it? Oh, in fact, that has to be 7. Sorry, I've only just spotted that that's all happening. This is purple. This is the purple 3 or a 4. Of course, I still don't know which is which out of purple and green. Classic. This is a six. This is now not a six. Ah, oh, well, this is on this diagonal. Minimum six, seven, 16, 21, 28, 32. That only leaves one degree. Oh, what happened there? Undo that. Okay, leaves one degree of freedom. I'm taking seven out of there. Oh, and that's lovely because these can't both go up to four from the minimum three. So they have to be the same because they're both green. So all the greens are three. Now with these two, they have to add up to six, but I don't know which way around that goes yet, annoyingly. Right, purple though has become four. Surely I can finish most of the grid now. That is not nine, that is a six, seven pair. Nine is over here. Um, this is a seven, yes. That's a six. Four, five pair there, so seven in there. Four, five there. Am I going to have to do the same with fours and fives? No, I've done fours. Oh, I just don't know which of those is purple. Okay, all right. All right. They can't have a five, so this is now an eight, five pair. Four... No, four isn't necessarily in one of those. Nine, eight, seven, three, four. So five's in one of those. Six is in one of those. One is in column seven. Two is in column eight. And that's a horrible chocolate teapot quadruple. So those are from three, five, six. Eight, three, two, nine. Oh, these aren't so helpful. Four, five, six, or seven. Oh, well, back to this diagonal then. These, oh, these two add up to six. So look, look at that cell. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually, I should fill that one in while I'm here. Those two can't be one and five, or that cell has no filling. So they're two and four. That is so elegant. That's a really nice finish, actually. I'm, a, I'm saying finish. I'm very confident that is finishing the puzzle. Everything seems to be going in fairly swimmingly. Yes, that is a six and a three now. Uh, five and seven. I can't do those yet. I'll do them in a minute. Six and seven. Eight and five. Five and seven. And there we go. That's a really nice puzzle to, uh, to celebrate this milestone that we're very proud of and we thank you so much for from the bottom of our hearts thank you to ollie Ma as well thank you for watching and very much hope to see you again soon on cracking the cryptic uh let me just hit the check button okay thank you bye for now <laughs>